Hey, Internet. This is Nate, and welcome to Affogato. This is a... I, I don't know quite how to describe it. It is a reverse tower defense game uh, where it's heavy on story, presentation, music, and there's a whole coffee brewing aspect to it. I've only watched uh, a video trailer on the game, but it looked so wild that I wanted to try it. So let's do, let's give it a try, see how it is. Um, I'm very curious. Uh, anyway, let's jump into it. New game. Uh, let's go normal mode. Oh my gosh. What is going on? We did it. We're now inside the mind labyrinth. Hmm, what's with you, Afi? Are you all right? You still seem a bit out of it. Ah, oh, my head. Wait, who are you? Who am I? Where are we? Go over here. Let me check you out. I see. So that's what happened. I forgot. Oh, you've lost your memory. I've lost my memory. Well, you, uh, this is hilarious. But it's fully voiced in Japanese. That's incredible. You've temporarily lost part of your memory, to be precise. Don't worry, just relax. Let's take it from the top. You are Afogato, a witch. A witch is a human who has made a pact with a demon and can use magic. As for your job description, a simple one. Help humans and steal demons away. I am a witch? As for me, I am Mephista, the archdemon from the depths of the burning abyss. <laughs> I'm also your familiar, your trusted partner through thick and thin. End of introduction, yeah. This place is called the Mind Labyrinth, a space generated by the magic gener visualization of a human's inner world. We need to get out of this place and save the demon's victim. Oh my gosh, what is this game? That's the end of the Mind Labyrinth. All we need to do is defeat the enemy there. So this is like, I think, the reverse tower defense aspect to it. This is a witch card, a magical item that's been around for millennia. It's something coveted by every witch. You can summon a witch card into battle at the cost of some mana. Give it a try. Okay, so it's physical attack. It has attack speed. Strength charges energy once dealing damage. Uh, when dealing damage. Um, once fully charged, it performs one additional attack. So I win if we defeat the demon controlling the mind labyrinth. And if we defeat three setbacks, then we also... Okay, that's so interesting. Can I, like, look around? I can't. So let's just summon our dude. It's a princess. Very nice. Press X to follow the friendly unit. Boom. Penta is condensed magic in physical form, usually used to recharge or drive magical items. Penta is required to summon witch cards, so that's like the mana. Penta can be acquired by defeating enemies marked with a Penta icon. Got it. Okay, so now we have another... We have two mana. Oh, a Penta. Now I'm surging with energy. Defeat the enemies marked by that icon to require Penta. In the Mind Labyrinth, we can control the flow of time. Now let me speed it up a little. Okay. Got it. Got another one. Click the arrow on the floor to change directions. Oh, so this is like where you could like build up a team. Like I could like leave this here, go back and summon another dude and have them like stack. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so now we have enough. Summon the chariot. The chariot is heavily armed. It can take a portion of incoming damage for the teammates, but has no offensive capabilities. Oh, I can summon it anywhere. I thought I had to summon it, like... I guess I have to summon it near my current character. That is wild. Okay. Watch out, there are enemies up ahead. Let me scout it out first. Right-click for more information. A setback. This one can only attack enemies in the front. Let's flank it and attack it from the side. Hit it in the ribs. Okay, so we're already going to do that. Looks like... Because we're going to be walking around it. Look 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. If you get stuck, remember to take a moment to observe and think. Change the viewpoint and plan your routes to find the best solution. This is how a witch fights. Okay. So, to fight this one... I feel like... Uh, so, I feel like we want to go this way, grab this treasure chest, go this way, to kill this one here, and I think we want to take it from this direction to try to get it. It's going to be hard, though. We'll try it. Okay, so we got to do that to there. We want to go this way, and then this way. I think this is right, because we definitely don't want to go... Get five Penta immediately. Okay. That seems pretty good. One camera. Got it. Hey, look what I found. A secret passage. I wonder where it leads. Okay, so we can... We can do this next. Another five Penta. We have so much Penta. Got him. We also defeated all three setbacks. That's pretty cool. Where do you go, Secret Passage? Why, why do I always get bullied? I can't stand it. I can't stand it. If I jump from here, what would happen? What is this? This is a memory shard, a memory de hidden, deleted, and tampered with by a demon. Demons manipulate the host's mind, change the host's memory, and hide memory shards in all corners of the mind labyrinth. We should try to gather as many memory shards as possible, understand the victim's past, and break the pact between them and the demon. I see. Okay, interesting. Now we gotta go this way. Now I hope that we'll be able to f complete killing it. Oh nice, we did it. Okay, cool. I mean, it was a tutorial, so... Yes, that's the ticket. Now warm-up time is over. I remember, my memory is coming back. Aoi, Aoi's danger is in danger. We must save Aoi before the demon completely takes over her heart. We obtained 20 shards and 100 coins. And we got the challenge. Nice. Okay, that was very wild. Aoi, here I am. You still came? The red, Miss Redheaded, Redhead Coffee Shop owner? Or should I call you Witch? Anyway, just hang on. I'll save you, I promise. Save me? Ha ha ha. I don't need to be saved. This is the life I want. Can't you see that? These students used to laugh at me and bully me, but now they're crazy about me for the rest of their life. The campus is this illusion. is the world of my dreams. I want to create my own world and change my life, even if it means I have to offer my soul to the demon. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Hey, don't be tricked by the demon's illusion. Aoi's conscious is being held at the center of the labyrinth. Anyway, hang on, I'll save you. Okay, so what do we want to do here? What do we got? We got the world. Okay, we have five to use. We probably should use a two and a three is my guess. This is the chariot. The chariot cannot deal damage. It charges energy when there are enemy units within its range. Once fully charged, the physical resistance and magical resistance of nearby allies will be temporarily boosted. The world cannot deal damage. It charges energy when there are enemies uh, within its range. Once fully charged, it heals the friendly unit with the lowest HP. I mean, that's really nice. Strength. Strength uh, charges... Oh, wait. Uh, Hermit. Hermit charge, de uh, charges energy when dealing damage. Once fully charged, it grants a penta. Every time the Hermit is summoned, it grants a maximum of 8 Penta. Strength charges energy when dealing damage, once charged. Okay, so hold on. We want to play you. We want to play you. You give us 8. Okay, so we start with this. Bro's getting hit. Uh, 
Do we want to just go around this a bunch? Oh, excuse me. Oh crap, we're gonna get hit. We just got wailed on. Okay, hold on. The world. Oh no. Oh, we're in trouble now. I mean, we healed. But I have no way of generating... Okay, so we have to restart. Uh, let's escape. I can't use this right now. Okay, go this way. And we're dead. I'm so dizzy. I'm out of mana. I forgot. I forgot. Wait, do I get to try again? Oh, we're going back in time. So it was a you had to lose situation. I think I could have beat that fight though. Or maybe not. Maybe eventually I would lose anyway. Oh, now they're chibis. <laughs> oh, gosh, cough. Are you alright, Archdemon Mephisto, my partner? Nothing, just a bit carsick, I guess. I just need a minute. Hi, I'm Mephisto, an Archdemon from the depths of the Burning Abyss. This red-haired witch is my partner, Afagata the Witch. I'm used to partnering up with a demon who doesn't think twice about speaking her mind, but I'm curious as to why a demon would get carsick. I'm not. Stop making a big deal out of nothing. I'm not carsick. I'm fine. I hope so. You look so gloomy that I was afraid you were going to eat the driver alive. What are you talking to? Who are you think you're talking to? This is a, just a human transportation device. I oh uh uh. All right, sort yourself out. We have a coffee shop to open. Right, the coffee shop, the damn coffee shop. We should have to end up moving all over the place if you hadn't run every coffee shop you've opened to the ground. I'm a helpful and generous witch. It's my duty to provide free coffee to the people who need it most. You, maybe. I'm the one needing to help you brew coffee seven days a week just to make ends meet. Commuting expenses, rent, renovation and material costs, advertisement fees, debts, bank loans. It's the humans who usually owe us, owe us the demons. Why do I have to suffer such indignity? If you hadn't signed a pact with me in the beginning and gone on to become a talk show host instead, maybe you'd become a greedy, a big greedy, or uh, become a big star already. I don't know why I kept saying greedy in there. What did I do wrong? I have to sign a pact with the bleeding heart of a redhead. Hey, it's not just red, it's magenta. <laughs> Speaking of our pact, I forgot. We haven't checked the corruption level for some time now, have we? Well, I don't think it could have changed much recently. It should be about 20%. How long do I have to wait for it to reach 100% to reap the delicious soul of yours? By the way, corruption refers to how much a witch's soul has been corrupted by a demon. A witch sacrifices her soul in exchange for the magic power gained from her pact with her familiar. Every time she uses mana, her soul decays a little bit more. When corruption reaches 100%, the demon devours the witch's soul completely, and that's it. Game over, man. Honestly, if all demons prattle on the way you do, it's no wonder people always claim to hear evil voices whispering in their ears. Uh, I guess I'm just unlucky. I signed a pact with a bleeding heart goody two-shoes. Seeing all my friends doing wicked deeds against humankind and then looking back at my witch partner. Looking for lost kittens, helping old ladies cross the street, and oh, that crappy coffee shop. I feel so disgraced to be here familiar. Complaints don't make the debts go away. Time to get down to business. Tomorrow the coffee shop's grand opening. We've got to work. We've got our work cut out for us. Hey, how much further is it? Not far, just a bit further on the right, and we'll be right there. Oh, I can move. I have... Oh, I still have the stuff from my backpack from the tutorial. That's interesting. Do we have a phone? Ooh. Oh, and then we have stats. Beauty, intelligence, and courage. I have just enough to pay the rent. 13 days left. There's some news. Nice. And there's a chat, but I can't use this while the main story is in progress. Oh, we can run. 
Nice. Ooh. It's kind of late already. I should head to the coffee shop now. That's interesting, though. Is it Beauty Salon? It's almost like Persona 5, where there's like two different games. The main story game and then everything else. Or the, then the actual like game game. The coffee shop name is Witchery. Nice. Hi there, beautiful. You must be Affogato. Hello, you are? Your landlord. House. House. Dr. Dave House, but just Dave is fine. Sure. I'm a doctor of medicine specializing in psychiatry. I work at Aurora, Aurora Memorial Hospital. Okay, so you're a psychologist. No, I'm a psychiatrist. Never mind, I'm used to it. Hey, we got smarter because we talked to this guy. Nice to meet you, Dr. House. Just Dave would be fine, my beautiful red-haired lady. Oh, this is, like, really inappropriate for a landlord. It's not red, it's magenta. Sorry, magenta. Oh, sorry, magenta. The house has been repaired and renovated to your precise specifications. You'll like it. Thanks a lot for that. Don't mention it. It's all coming out of your deposit anyway. All I did was walk by every day and see how the construction was progressing. Here are the keys to the front and back door. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. What is it? Have you forgotten something? Right, sorry for forgetting them. For from this. How much rent do I owe you? The rent is inexpensive. It's only 10,000. Uh, marbles. Alright, just give me a sec. Oh, 10,000 gold. Remaining balance, 100 gold. Payment confirmed. Don't lose the keys. You're getting late. Good luck with your new venture. I'll drop by to try your coffee, Miss Redhead. It's not red, it's... Uh, Right, I wonder how much rent I can owe him before this generous landlord kicks me out. Alright, so we gotta make 10,000 gold selling coffee. I don't know how much a coffee uh, cup sells for here. We're here, my new coffee shop, Witchery. You mean ours. Tremble, foolish humans. The great archdemon Mephista has arrived in her rightful domain. It's so dark in here, Mephista. Lights, please. Right, let me see where the switches are. Wait a minute. How dare you order me around like a servant? You should fear and respect me. Would you please turn on the lights, my dear Mephista? That, that's more like it. <laughs> Ouch, what happened, Mephista? I tripped over a cable. Ah, what happened this time, Mephista? I hit my head on the cabinet. Really? Even the great Mephista, the dark demon, couldn't see in the dark. Shut your mouth, human. I am Mephista, the arch demon. Looking for a simple switch in the dark is... There you are, foolish switch. Nice. Ooh. Fancy. This place is adequate. It will do for now. Am I hearing things, or is there music in this place? Oh, I turned on the speaker system which I, when I switched on the lights. I'll leave things here while you check upstairs. Or while I check upstairs. Okay. My semi-automatic coffee machine. I haven't been brewing coffee for a while. I hope I still got it. Let me try to brew a coffee, cup of coffee for now. Let's start with the basic Americano. First, make it a cup of espresso before making the Americano. Okay. Follow the recipe and grind the coffee beans. Put coffee beans and water into the coffee machine and push the button to brew. Okay, so here's coffee beans. And water. Wait, it says and water. Oh, coffee ground. Oh, put ground coffee. I'll put that into here. I'm, I'm trying. There we go. Add water. Push the coffee cup in the designated spot. Push the button. Nice. Brewing down. Espresso is ready. Now we put it on the tray. Now add hot water to the espresso to get a cup of Americano. Open the Americano recipe. Take an espresso and add water to it. Oh, that's easy. Season the coffee. Seasonings can alter the taste of the coffee. Different customers may have different preferences. Add a little bit of sugar to round off the bitterness. Oi, oi. 
Hey, do you really want to add sugar to this Americano? All right, not this, not the next time. I'll make sure of it. Okay, so add some sugar. Ah, so that made this go down, made this go up. Nice, okay. Enjoy the coffee. There we go. Now time for a taste. Mmm, it's not too bitter. Take another sip. And it's not too sour. Perfect. Ah, I still got it. A customer? It's late, but we're not even officially open yet. Ooh. Welcome to Witchery. Every cup brings a smile. A new coffee shop here? Ooh, Natalie. This storefront has been vacant for a long time. We just moved in. So, you're the shop owner. I'm Affogato, the shop owner, but everyone calls me a bleeding heart. The name's Natalie, Natalie Ryan. I'm a journalist. Nice to meet you, Natalie. Welcome to Witchery, my coffee shop. Witchery? That's quite a special name for a coffee shop. We're only officially opening tomorrow, so you're our first customer, unofficially that is. Looks like today's my lucky day. Let's see what you have here. Latte, Americano, Mocha, Espresso, Macchiato, Cappuccino, Flame Strike, Frost Nova. What are these, magic spells? Ah, those are our specialty magical brews. Magical, that sounds interesting. I've been a journalist for years and have seen many people believe in magic, vampires, and unicorns. Archdemon Mephisto, Tracy McLaughlin. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Oh, those are personalized brews for my regulars. They each have their own preferences, so I named the brew after them. Sounds like what a bartender would do. At least my customers won't need to be carried out. How does one become a regular? Ooh. Time is the best judge. Sounds fair. I'll toast it with a simple Americano to celebrate our new friendship. One Americano, coming right up. Okay, we just learned about this. So. Ground coffee beans. Then, put them into here. With some water. Put the coffee cup where it goes. Push the button. Put this on the tray. Add some water. And then we go to seasonings. We can add a little bit of sugar. And then the coffee's done. Takes a sip. Um, how should I put it? It's quite exotic, I guess. Never mind, let's change the subject. Afogato, I love the color of your hair. Is there a special dye, uh, spell to dye my, mine red like yours? First of all, it's not red, it's magenta. Secondly, I am born with it. That's so... There goes my women's hair turned red overnight piece. You'll probably have better luck at a popular, popular salon. Speaking of magic and spells, actually, we deal with uh, lots of occult stuff like that in my line of work. Occult journalist? I used to be a journalist. Now I'm reduced to nothing more than a blogger and a ghostwriter. I used to work for a local press and had a penthouse with a walk-in closet and three cats. And then, and then, and then that era died. The ever so popular newspapers and magazines were suddenly replaced by phones and tablets. True, no one cares for the newspaper I keep in the shop anymore. Uh, well, let's put some, put some put their cups on it. Everyone carries a smartphone around these days and the journalist is a thing of the past. Finally, I became unemployed and got kicked out of my place with zero savings in my pocket. Now I live in a 100 square foot room down in the basement, trying to make a living being a ghost writer. What do you usually write about? Oh, fake news, pseudoscience, urban legends, ghost sightings, as well as magic, vampires, and unicorns? And the denizens of Aurora love it. City love it. These days, originality, truth, and quality, none of them matter. Only traffic and profit are important. Sounds tough. Oh, tough on the mind, not the body. I used to be a journalist with standards and morals. I was committed to quality and the truth. But now, I'm looking for inspiration to write about magic, supernatural beings, and serial killers. You mean trash? You read my mind. My job nowadays is to write chats on the internet. Well, I never would have guessed, judging by how you dress. Huh. I pawned almost everything of value already. This is the only formal suit I have now. I work seven days a week, five days in the office, two days at home. That's how I keep my job. Without it, I wouldn't survive in this city. Nor would I be able to afford even a cup of coffee. Now you got me interested in your articles. 
Just search up, oh my goddess. <laughs> All right, let me type that in. Found it. Hey, my loyal fans, welcome back to Oh My Goddess. I'm your goddess, Nana. Don't look at me, I didn't name it. Why is your selfie at the top of the article? Beats me, not my idea, but I had to do it if I wanted to keep my job. I didn't get this job because I write good articles. It's only because, ah, I see. Poor goddess Nana. Do you mind subscribing to the poor goddess Nana? If it helps, of course. Thank you, Afogato. You are really so nice. Told you, I wasn't called a bleeding heart for no reason. In return for your favor, I happen to have a story set for next week. Do you want to hear it first? Hit me. Ahem. My loyal fans, welcome back to Oh My Goddess, and I'm your goddess, Nana. You don't need to lead with that opening. Right, bad habit. Sorry about that. This time on Oh My Goddess, we're going to look into the mystery of the unconscious high schoolers. This title. Have you heard of the Grace Castle Academy, Afogato? Nope, sounds like something you'd see in a bad horror flick. It's actually quite a prestigious school in Aurora City. It dates back centuries. Just like in the horror flick. Anyway, something out of this world happened in this school. Two students suddenly fell into a coma. What's so out of this world about that? Have some patience, it would never have gotten my attention if it was just that. They fell into a coma under mysterious circumstances. Two healthy students suddenly fell into a coma without any symptoms. Some experts believe we're facing a new kind of disease. Holy crap, this is a lot more story heavy than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's more like coffee talk with some uh, reverse power defense built in. But some believe them to be cursed. Not cursed, it feels more like possession. As in... Demonic possession? That'll serve as a nice hook. I should write that down. Natalie, you don't really believe in demons, do you? Me? Of course not. But every school has its own urban legends. Walking statues, underground cemeteries, you know. If someone looked into it, they'd find that they're nothing but made-up stories told by the student. That said, it's what the audience loves to read, so who am I to argue about that? I guess that's enough complaints for the day. Time for me to mash the keyboard again. Thanks, I forgot for listening. Anytime. The coffee's good and the shop feels nice. I'm sure you'll be able to make it here. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'll be going now. I still have a piece that I need to write. Later. Sorry, just grabbing a drink. Be safe and come again. The economy's bad and everybody's suffering for it. Alright, it's getting late. Time to close the shop. Oh, I can move in 3D. Ooh. Uh-oh. Hmm, customers? But we're not open for business right now. I better send them away. Hey, bro. I'm sorry, sir, but we're closed. Excuse me, did you hear me? I forgot, there's something wrong with him. Mephisto, where did you come from? I thought you were loafing around upstairs. Are you kidding me? I'm an all-knowing, all-powerful archdemon. I can hear everything going on downstairs. An all-knowing, all-powerful archdemon. It's not the time for that. Just use your witch vision. Ooh. Press V to detect, to activate, deactivate witch vision. Use the witch vision to see possessed humans or objects with demonic taint. I can sense a demonic taint coming from him. Don't worry, look at how light his color is. It looks like a random low-level demon. You shouldn't have much trouble handling it. So many things were happening on the first day. Alright, preparations. These are our cards. Card upgrade. Let me show you how to upgrade the witch cards. First, you'll need to choose the witch card's strength you want to upgrade. I highly recommend strength, if you will. Click the Upgrade button to add the required upgraded materials. It requires four hearts. I have 20. I can upgrade it again. Do I want to upgrade all of them? Upgrade Strength one more time. Okay. Defeat the demon controlling the mine labyrinth. All deployed units are defeated if we lose. Clear the stage with more than five penta remaining. Ooh. Hold on.
All right, so we have to figure out how to get uh, the right amount of mana here. It's heavily guarded here, but that doesn't. But there doesn't seem to be another way around. Okay, so these guys. I guess we have to force our way through. Well, I can only play you. Don't die, bro. Strength can't hold anymore. We can't defeat he the get defeated here. Summon other witch cards. Try the chariot with high HP and the world that can heal. Okay. Oh no. Once defeated, which cards, uh, once a defeated witch card is returned to the deck, summoning it will cost additional penta. Oh damn. Next you've been defeated and returned to the deck. Let's try summoning again once we require more penta. Okay, so this is another one we can use. Now we have to summon her again. There we go. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I definitely want to go that way. And then we want to go that way. Regeneration, just drag it into the mine labyrinth and then create a healing field. Regeneration costs penna as well, so always make sure you have enough penna. We can put it here. Got it. We can go this way and this way. Nice. I'm exhausted. Let's take a break. It's not like you, you'll take no for an answer. When a friendly unit passes through a checkpoint, you can save the current level progress. Oh, nice. Also, want to go this way because the secret way. One, two more. It doesn't look like it's going to be. was a secret path. A secret path, something good must be inside. And we gotta go that way. One drunkard's memory obtained. here we got some decor I guess I could just defeat, defeat the boss now because I have more than six all right let's shift so we can go a little faster and I hope that we'll be okay I mean we are hitting it pretty well Yeah, we should be good here. We got the memory, we got all the extra stuff. And bopped. Excellent! And we cleared the challenge. Very, very nice. Where am I? What happened? And who are you? 
Are you awake? Welcome to the welcome to the Aurora City. You got drunk and came to my place looking for trouble. No, no, I wasn't drunk. That's what every drunk says. I don't remember ha me having a drink. That's what they all say too. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'll be going now. Yeah, get out of here. I'll make you pay for everything. Mephisto, would you lock the door, please? I've had enough weird customers for the day. Really? I mean, we could lure some more in and make them pay up. Give it up already. I'm a good witch, remember? I'm no criminal. Oh, how boring. We could have earned back this month's rent if you weren't such a saint. This is my bedroom. Going to bed will end this day. Okay, so we have to... Oh. Ooh. Uh, get 10,000 gold before the 22nd. If you fail to pay the money, something horrible may happen. Okay. We can sit in the chair. Call it a night. Nice. Get through your first day in Aurora, Aurora City. Uh oh. Here we are. This is the oh, this is the girl that we were helping. This is the new coffee shop I told you about. Uh, it looks so dull and boring. And I hate coffee. It's so bitter. Yuck. Anna, you're judging a book by its cover again. What does it matter if the coffee's good? I'm sorry, Ayoi. And you, Betty, I told you already that a little bit of coffee keep you refreshed. Toughen up. Right. Yes, Ayoi. That sounds better. Right. Let's, we gotta try the coffee here. Let's go in. My treat. No, 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 no need. We can pay for ourselves. Yeah, we'll just split the bill. I said it's on me. Don't make me say it again. Sure. Sure. Now, let's go in and get ourselves some coffee. Welcome to Witchery. Every cup brings a smile. Hello. Welcome. What would you like today? You must be the new coffee shop that just opened up around here. We are just opened, and you guys are our first customers. Cool. Count us lucky. Do we get discounts or something? Half price for a second cup? Our proud artisan coffee won't disappoint you. Sounds good. Hey, my red-headed coffee owner, shop owner. Quiz time. Coffee or cola? Um, I'm sorry? Coffee or cola? Don't think. Just go with your instinct. First of all, it's not red, it's magenta. Second, regarding your question, coffee. If you're asking which one I prefer, I'll have to say coffee. I get it. Why else would you be running a coffee shop? Then, what do you recommend as the shop's owner? I highly recommend you try our signature coffee, the Frost Nova. Frost Nova? It's one of our specialties. We're different from other coffee shop chains like that. Well, I did rec ask you for your recommendation. We'll take three Frost Nova. Got it. Three Frost Nova coming right up. Oh my god, how do I make the Frost Nova? Take an Americano and add some ice and ice cream. Ooh. That's interesting. So, start with an espresso. Boom. There. Water. Button. Water. Americano. Then... Add some ice. And... Ice cream. Oh my gosh. Take a sip. Unbelievable. At first glance, it may seem like an ordinary iced coffee, but it tastes amazing. How, how, I mean, how did you do it? Magical, isn't it? Man, coffee really is the good stuff. A cup of coffee in the morning really gets the day going. As long as you like it. You make a mean cup of coffee. You're not new at this at all, are you? I'll tell you this, this is not my first coffee shop. Is that so? What happened to the others? They closed down because the coffee was disgusting? Uh, of course not. You're joking, aren't you? Well, it's time for school. We better get going, Anna, Betty. Yeah, let's go, Ayoi. Let's go. Hey, I like your coffee. I'll surely be back. Nice. Thanks for that. Another customer? Welcome to Witchery. Every cup brings a smile. Uh-oh. Lindsay's having a rough day. 
What can I get you today? Uh, come again? Uh, what? Are you all right, ma'am? Why did she run away screaming? Do I really look so scary? Welcome to witchery. What would you like today? Yikes! Uh, did I scare her away again? Round three. Hey, are you all right? What happened? You need help? Should I call the police or an ambulance for you? No. No need to call. I'm fine. That's a relief. I thought you got robbed of everything. So you're safe. Uh, you didn't get into trouble with somebody or get by a car. Then, are you a Girl Scout here to sell your cookies? No? Credit card, maybe? Sorry, no one ever gets my dry jokes. Um, do you want a cup of coffee? Sure. Alright, that's what you're here for, isn't it? What can I get you? Take your time. I'll have a latte, please. Alright, one latte, coming up. Alright, cafe latte. Take an espresso and add milk to it. Done. Where's milk? Milk. Nice. Yum. I'm glad you like it. Beauty up. Oh, sweet. Now we're beautiful. Excuse me. You are the shop owner, right? Yeah, that's me. I, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Afogato. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lindsay. You, your hair. I was born with this color, not dyed. Also, it's not red, it's magenta. Um, making conversation is hard. Ma'am, I want... You want? I want to ask if I can part... Huh? Come again, please? I can't hear you. Part time. I want to ask if I can part time here. Are you looking for help? Uh, part time, is it? Sorry, we just opened and we're fine right now. I see. Can I ask you a question? Please do. Why do you want to work here? You need money or... I live close by. I want to work as a waitress. I'm sorry, but really don't need anyone, but... But if you really need a job, I can keep my eyes open for you. I, I'm a college student. Yeah, that's... So you are a college student. Yes, I'm a college student. I'm sorry, I'm a bit of an introvert. I can see that. I major in music. Music? Then you, uh, you'll need to perform in public, don't you? Yes, that's correct. And that's why I want to find a job that forces me to interact with people. To over, overcome your social anxiety issues? Yes, to overcome my social anxiety. Now I get it, like a baptism by fire. So, can I work here? Lindsay, listen, I really want to help you out, but the truth is, I don't have the money to hire an employee. Tell you what. Leave your number with me, and I'll contact you if I find something that suits you. Or, if the business grows well and this place gets busy, I will need the help. If you're still interested by then, I'll hire you in a heartbeat. Oh, alright, thank you. I'll be going now. Be sure to drop by when you have the chance. I will. Gosh, I'm beat. It's the first time I have to deal with an introvert like this. I can't help it. I guess I was just born with a conscience. If this kid needs my help, I can't just stand by and do nothing. That was the morning. Now it's the evening time. Finally, time to close up. Ah, worked my butt off for only a handful of coins. It seems there's no difference for humans, whether they're here on Earth or down in Hell. Life is just as tough. Oh, shut up, you chatty demon. Are you gonna chat me to death? Fine, fine. How about I just wish us good business? Mephista, would you close up for me, please? I'm taking a stroll out. A stroll? The cups are not gonna wash themselves, you know. Oh, surely you have something that can help, like some handy cleaning spells, right? Demand and supply. We never had to wash dishes or cups, so there's no such spell. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out somehow. You are the mighty archdemon. Praises now are not gonna win you any favors. Hey, come back! Nice, you can now walk around freely. In addition to playing through the main story, you can also spend your time enjoying various events. Spending time in stores can increase your stats. Engaging in dialogue sequences with story characters on the street can unlock side stories for these characters. Activate Witch Vision on the street, you may encounter demons wandering the mortal plane. This is like the Persona 5 free time. Wander the streets and do something. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, 
that's how I can like go into the different stores. Well, let's see what there's on the street first, and then we may go into a store. Oh, hey, it's her. Hey, Natalie. Oh, Afogato, hello. Are you alright, Natalie? Do I not look alright? You look pretty worn out in your eyes. Well, you look like you're on death's door. As a coffee shop owner, you sure know how to talk with your guests. Courage is up! Nice. It's just another day working overtime, right, we're riding around the clock. I thought I'd sneak out for some fresh air. You don't need some fresh air. You need to start, you need a fresh start with a less hectic job. Also, I just noticed she has horns. I didn't notice that before. You know how bad the economy's been recently. Even the media's been hit by the recession. I'm lucky they even have a job. Even if a talented writer like you has been relegated to life living on the streets, Aurora, oh, Aurora City is doomed. When I had lost my job, when I just lost my job, I was penniless and homeless. I almost had to leave my cat with the animal shelter. Ever consider taking your cat out on the street and busking? I hear it's all the rage these days. Playing music, singing, art, fortune-telling, magic. Those are just a few of the things I can't do. All I do is write cruddy articles nobody cares about, doomed to lose my job and live on the streets. I am irrelevant, obsolete, and I'm not even 30 yet. Your relationship with Natalie has become closer. Ooh, we get a new card. A bond appears to be developing between you and Natalie. If I saw you writing letters home for others on the street, I'd give you a chance. I mean, I didn't even have my cell. Oh, if I didn't have my cell. Millennials don't even know what writing letters home means. Alright, break time is over. Heading back to work. Remember to come back for a coffee when you're free. I'm all about that money. So we get to do like one thing per night, it looks like. It's late. I better get back. I'm back. Oh, had enough fun? I wasn't out playing. Yeah, yeah, you were just surveying the environment, customer traffic, and audience groups. Oh, ah, more customers? I'm sorry, but we're closed. Before you close up, mind treating your old friend to a cup of coffee? Hmm? It's you. It's been so long, Affie, my old friend. Sarah Higgs in my shop? Get out! Oh, it's it's me, all right, Alfie. Alfie, I almost didn't recognize you with that gray hair of yours. Well, you didn't change at all. Still have that burning red hair of yours. It's not red, it's magenta. Wait, no, that's not the point. Why are you here? I should be asking you that, Affie. Why are you here in this city? I claimed the Aurora City. One city, one witch. You haven't forgotten the rules, have you? Of course not. I'm a proper witch, mind you. Oh, she's got a bunch of horns, too. I thought Aurora City didn't have a witch. Your information is outdated. I took charge three years ago. Aurora City is yours. How come I haven't heard any word of it? Then you're in some dire need of some updates. Afi, our ancient and holy decree clearly states that this is my city and I have the right to drive you out. But listen, I'm just here to run a coffee shop, that's all. I'm not interested in what you're here for. Come on, Sarah, we're friends, can't you make an exception? Truth be told, I owe a huge amount of money, a huge amount of debt, and I don't even have money for my next month's rent. If you forced me out, I would literally be living on the streets and sleeping under a bridge. That sounds like a nice, close-to-nature living style. Organic, it might be good for you. Please, Sarah, I'll do anything. Do you really mean that? Anything? I mean, do you want a cup of coffee? I'll do anything. Coffee? I don't remember when's the last time I had a chance to sit down and have one. Fine. I'll have a mocha. All right, one mocha coming up. All right, mocha. Ex espresso. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that would have been bad. Then add some chocolate sauce, milk. Wait, did I add the milk? And whipped cream. Is that the same as cream cream? That must be this. Do I whip the cream? Pour milk into the milk frother. Ha! There we go. Nice. 
Take a sip. Bitter, sour, but a sweet aftertaste, a layered taste with an exquisite balance. You're still as good as you used to be, my old friend. The good coffee beans also helped. Gotta take out the best coffee beans for an old friend, of course. I can tell you really want to stay in the city, Affy. It just so happens that I have a few tasks on my hand that may require finer touches of our kind. If you help me out, I'll let you stay. What things? Oh, exorcisms, handling some low-level demons, nothing too difficult. How many of those tasks do you have in mind for me? Around ten. Ten? Seriously, Sarah, I tell you what, I'll take three only because we're friends. Deal. You take care of three tasks and I'll let you stay. You got it. A deal is a deal. As soon as it was agreed upon, it became a pact between us. I'll send you the info on the tasks in a few days. Before that, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the city. If you're looking for someone to get warm up, to get warm up, there's a target on Jubilee Arcade that needs to be cleansed. You promised that they are just something for me to get warmed up, right? Relax, just some commoner that got possessed. The risk level is pretty low. He appears in Jubilee Arcade every day. And I won't be asking you to do this for free. We're old friends after all. Here's the down payment. There's also a bonus waiting for you when it's done. Ooh. Another new card. Oh, this is the one that we had before. Obtained which card? The Hermit. Obtained a thousand gold. Down payment. Gosh, sir, since when did you become so generous? By the sacred covenant, I'll take care of the of it first thing tomorrow and show him who's boss. Just get it done. It's late. I should be going. Enjoy your new life in Aurora City, my old friend. But do be careful. Don't lose your head. Whew, she's finally gone. I never thought we'd run into your old pal, Sarah, here. I thought we could finally have some peace and quiet all the way out here. Fortunately, it's Sarah. Despite her pushy tone, she does seem to have a soft spot for you. These three tasks are traps, obviously. I think that it was her plan to get me to agree to three tasks instead of ten all along. Well, it doesn't matter how she feels about you. You two are bound by the pack now. As long as you fulfill your end of the bargain, we get to stay here. I forgot all. You get what I'm saying, right? We have to make it here, or... Or the money we put into renovation and rent will all go down the drain. Ha 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 It's just life, I guess. Suffer, lament, struggle, this is thou fate. Keep it down. Do you want to wake the neighbors? Um, how dares a mere human order me around? It's late. I should rest now. I still only have the two uniforms. Nice. No, so it's like Persona 5 if Persona 5 was a reverse tower defense coffee shop owning simulator. <laughs> right. I think this is where we're going to end. Uh, I don't know how to... I guess I'll just exit a different way. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out the game, you can click on the link in the description of the video. And I will see you guys next time. See you later.